Hello friends, I am Balaji. Hello friends, I am Balaji and today we are going to see how to add a reference to external DLF files which you may download from internet. On our previous session, we have already seen how to add a reference to some other external DLF files which you have created. Now we are going to see how to add a reference to external DLL files which you may download from the internet. So for this example, I am going to use uh, one library called iTextShop which is used to create and edit PDF files. So, okay. so before you actually start writing this application, you want to download this iTextShop DLL from this URL. So I have attached the link to download this URL. So check the description of this video that you will find this URL to download this iTextshare library. Okay. In my case I already downloaded this iTextshare. We'll open that. Okay. Here it is. Here inside this iTextshare call it contains a lot of zip files. So I will go to this iTexture DLL4. I will extract this folder. Okay. I want to add a reference to this iTexture.dl. So I will copy this back. Then, before we actually start our compilation process, we want to write some code. Okay, so I will copy some code which use I texture. So wait a second. Okay, now I copy some code which uses this I texture DL. Okay, now in order to run this application, I want to go to command prompt. First to clear the screen. Then I want to write PSC what is the name of this file? Sample.c. Sample.cs. Here, what is your target file? Target type. What's your target type? It's exe. If you want to convert your C sharp file into DLL file, file name, what you want to specify as a target? You want to specify that as a library. But here, our target is exe, which is the default type. Target means if you haven't specified any options as a target means it will defaultly take this exe value to this target. Okay, but if you want to convert your C sharp of file to DLL file, means you want to specify target as library. But in this case, my target is exe, and then I can also specify the name of our exe by default it will take the name of our main c sharp file but i can also specify manually specify name of our exe for that i will use slash out my target file name is from PDF PDF okay. Now I press enter it's showing error. I take sure it's not there. So I'll run it again and then I will prefer I take sure path. To this okay. Now it gets complete successful. Now I'll go to my folder.
then there you can frame this video so frame this see it's showing high texture this now so what is the solution the solution is make a copy of this high texture the dll paste it into the directory of this pdf this pdf gen and this high texture the dll should be present in a same directory okay now i will i will directly run this application there is no need for compiling it again so now there is no error it is successfully generated our pdf open this My PDF file gets generated successfully. I write this. Hello. Okay. So that's all for this session. Thank you and good night.